Welcome back, riders. So, uh, confession time. Mitch and I might be buying this game a second time for the same exact console. Uh, we're going to talk about that in just a second. Today's main topic is going to be a quick one, uh, almost like a tutorial on the Tardiflet Games, our esports competition in Riders Republic. Uh, we are debuting the best trick competition coming up very soon. So stick around for your keys to winning gold in TFG. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Riders Report. Today's episode is brought to you by our YouTube members. Thank you, as always, to executive producers Bone Crusher 2D and Coach 34, along with co-producers It's the Mort and Mitch's Mom, and our fans and fans plus. If you'd like to become a member and help support the channel, hit join down below for cool perks like early access to the shows, emojis and badges, exclusive Discord roles, members-only content, sneak peeks, and more. So if you thought the horoscopes were the weirdest thing we saw on Riders Republic Twitter, it just got weirder today on monday they posted a brand deal where you can now buy riders republic and a pack of cliff bar minis to what? save like five dollars and get exclusive cliff in-game items right uh okay okay so what are these items though um, you know you can't eat a cliff bar in the game no i Maybe not. Maybe they'll maybe they'll add an emote first. <laughs> that, is that not, the DLC? No, yeah, right. You don't get the emote. But uh, <laughs> right now, it looks like you can get PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, a physical copy of mm -hmm. Riders Republic, and then you can get a third. It comes with a 30 pack of Cliff Bar Minis with white sure. chocolate macadamia nut, chocolate chip, and crunchy peanut butter. And then you also get a Cliff snowboard and helmet to rock in the game. And right now it's on even more of a deal. So you get that for like $48. It's available in the US only. That's why we might have to buy the game again. Yeah, dude, that's kind of tempting. Yeah. The, Does anyone uh, want to buy a digital copy of Riders Republic? <laughs> I, I, I got to post the picture. The snowboard is <laughs> sick and the helmet too. I. It's almost uh, tempting. Yeah. So yeah, this is, I mean, this is a very tempting offer from the game from Cliff as well. Mm -hmm. Um. Cliff bars are incredible, and I know I am fueled by cliff bars. Are are you rocking cliff bars every once in a while? Oh yeah, and this is not a sponsored bit at all, but it could. Um, it, hey, hey, it could be it, Cliff sponsor us. The best trick Let's series. Talk. We know who to reach out to. Um, <laughs> no, I usually keep them just because I'm always on the go in the car at work or driving the boat. So I try and just get random flavors and keep one in my backpack just in case I get really hungry. So I mean, I love it. Yeah, that was my next question. You said you have random flavors. I am strictly, I mean, I'll eat most of them, but mm -hmm. uh, white macadamia nut in the, what is it? White chocolate chip or just regular chocolate chip? White, yeah, white chocolate macadamia yeah. nut, I think. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't beat those. They are the absolute best uh, protein adventure bar that you can get out there. Cliff, sponsor us. Yes, please. Um, I always <laughs> go for that one too. Or the brownie's good and the blueberry was surprising. I like the blueberry crisp, so try okay. that one out. I'm going to have to buy Riders Republic to try them all out. <laughs> what a weird, what a weird partnership right around the holidays, too. I'm here for, How I mean, odd. there's a cliff like banner in the Riders Ridge and nothing else to yeah. do with cliff. So, hey, I'm, maybe there'll be a sponsor you can compete in events for soon. Maybe yeah, a season one DLC. Are we to expect like a pair of Oakley sunglasses next to come out? Ooh, because don't even. you take my money right now. <laughs> yeah, don't even get him started <laughs> on that. Uh, we also got some more serious news from Riders Republic. They posted the patch notes uh, about a week ago, so we just missed it. Uh, you can check those out down below. Just some minor tweaks, fixing some issues in the game. And finally, the big piece of news is that the Tardiflet Games Best Trick series is officially kicking off. And we hey, will discuss that in the main topic. Let's go. All right, so I promise we're going to get to the main topic here in just a second, but the lull in between news and where we are right now, Mitch came up with the most genius idea. Uh, I think, we, are we going to get the cliff gear? Or, we're going to do some awesome stuff here. I, I'm, I'm going to let you explain it. I'm doing a terrible job. This is all you coming from the genius in your head. Uh, please tell the people. 
<laughs> I, I think our minds were swayed by all the cliff stuff. I was trying to think of a way to justify getting the game again. Get the free stuff. Get the other, cliff yeah, stuff. Other than just getting the <laughs> cliff bars, because I'm gonna I need to order some anyways, and the yeah, well. cliff snowboard and helmet, because the baby blue is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, I was trying to think of what to do with the physical copy of the game and sure could sell it or try and post it somewhere. But uh, I used to work at the Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh and I do some adaptive gaming stuff. And I know there's charities out there that take video games for kids in the hospitals. I played the video games. The Nintendo 64 cart came to me when I was in the Children's Hospital. Oh, dude. And I had to fight for like 30 minutes to play Super <laughs> Mario before the next kid got it. And then I couldn't play games the rest of the day. Now I know Pittsburgh's hospital has... Uh, they have an Xbox in every room, I think. Whoa. Like they Xbox came in and said, here's one for every room. Wow. Um, and That's I know they fantastic. have PlayStations too. I think they just have kind of a toss up. So I thought we can buy the game, this bundle, the cliff bundle. And then if you're able donate the game to a children's hospital or toys for tots or any of those charities going on on the holidays. So we can spread some cheer and of course, some riders Republic all around the nation. Yeah, I mean, what what better way to feel good around the holidays than share something that you enjoy, uh, especially a video game like this? You know, some kids, they're not going to get their holiday at home. They're going to be in a hospital bed uh, with limited visitation, especially during COVID right now. So, you know, what better way to uh, to gift an awesome, incredible video game to remove them from that kind of dark reality that uh, they have no choice but to live through? Um we're going to link some stuff down below. We're going to do some homework after the episode wraps here and try and find some nonprofits around the country and maybe some overseas if we can. Um, but yeah, join us if you can. I, I think this would be a wonderful thing for our community to do. Um, and we're not looking for rec you know, recognition or pats on the back, whatever. But if you do this with us, we would love to hear you know, if you're going down this path, just so we can thank you in a later episode. Um, yeah, if you can donate some time and some money to uh, some less fortunate folks this holiday season, it's always a wonderful thing. Mitch, the Tartiflette games. Mm -hmm. Let's get into this main topic. It's going to be a quick one. We're not going to riff too much, um, but there are some folks that are watching that may not know what TFG is, what we do other than these videos here. So we're just kind of going to try and give you an overview of what else we do on this channel. And uh, we might be able to send you some hardware, some actual Tartiflette Games gold medals from a video game. Yeah, that stepping up to the plate, trying to get it all in one go. But uh, Tartiflette <laughs> Games is our video series that we run. It mimics the X Games type style where we kind of started off with Knucklehuck and Big Air and some of those events. But we've been looking to expand in Riders Republic. So the idea, the idea punch that mike I just, punch. I'm just so hyped teach up, it a lesson right <laughs> the idea is that you submit your clips and then we watch them either in a live stream or edit a little video together we do commentary we try to run it like a show like you're watching the x games or the olympics the broadcast the intro the transition scoreboards all of it and then of course we pick a winner and hand out one of those great this one is the canyon fodder medal oh, i can't remember who that beautiful. goes to oh this is the dud but you get a metal sent to you. So check that out. You get to hang it on the wall. We have people hanging theirs up already. Saw some cool pictures. And we're going to start off Riders Republic the only way you can with a best trick for every single sport category. Yeah, and this makes the most sense for right now. You know, in Steep, we used to do some very cinematic competitions where we would do like a real snow or a real street where you could put an edit together to music, um, cuts and all that. But since we don't have a video editor mode in the game right now, this is the best thing that we can do. So we want you to go out there and slam down your best tricks. Uh, there are five categories. Like Mitch said, you have your bikes, your skis, your snowboard, your wings and your funkies. Uh, so you can really get creative in all of those categories. And um, are you just limited to one category out of the five or can you submit to all five? No, it's a bit different than the beta best trick where we just said submit any sport, same form and submit however many you want. You can submit one trick per category. So you can submit five total. They are five separate forms. And the way we run these is that we're looking for around five to 20 seconds of a clip. So not multiple clips cut together, just one single line, one area. So it can mm -hmm. be one trick or a combo. And then just 
throw it up on YouTube, unlisted, listed, however you want. And then you just fill out the forms on our website, which is linked down below, nickandmitch.com slash best trick. There are five forms, like he said, for the five categories. There is ski, snowboard, bike, wing and funkies so wing includes rocket wingsuit and regular wingsuit funkies includes anything that is n- under the funky category in the sport mm-hmm. wheel so it can be the, like the foam covered bike the flat tire bike don't submit those in the regular bike area uh if you want to do snowboard snowmobile and paramotor for some reason you can throw them in funkies that'll be the catch-all category even walking nate was doing some walking in the beta and the way the forms work too, you just need your name, country, and uh, the video link. And if you want to change it at a certain point, so say you submit and then you want to put a better clip, you can just log back into the form. If you click on the link, log back into your account, you can change it and update it. Oh. So you don't even have to send it to me. That's really nice. That's really smooth. Um, you know, if you're like me and you're just super excited to get your lines, you know, recorded and down, um, just a few things to note. Uh, I know this seems like commonplace for most folks who are going to compete, but someone might benefit from this. Uh, you're going to have to use your systems, your gaming systems, recording software. Uh, so like we said, the game does not have something in the game that you can record with, uh, you know, your line in the game to, to send it out to your console. So you're going to have to use your capture system on your system. Uh, but the most important part of this little ramble here, make sure your HUD is turned off. Uh, we like to overlay our own HUD over top of these videos and we can do, we can kind of cheese it. If you leave the HUD on, it's just easier and it looks a whole lot more professional if you turn your HUD off off. Um, it also helps if you turn the music down, uh, and just keep your rider noise there. We will have background music that we provide. Uh, so, you know, if you want to hear your guy or girl landing those tricks and making some noise, be sure to just turn your music down. Um, again, you know, most people that are going to submit already know this, but it's just good to put it out there for the first time. Uh, your deadline, you know, we, you have plenty of time to get all of this organized. We've been hinting at it for a couple of weeks now, but the official deadline for the final submissions will be January 2nd, the 2nd of January, 2022. I know Europe hates whenever we say January 2, but one, two, two, two. But for them, it's two, two, one, two, two. Two, two, one, two, two. Yes. One, two, 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 one, two, two. The second. Yeah. (laughs) Wake up after New Year's. And mm-hmm. scramble to finish your last submissions. That's that's when you know. It's whenever Easy. we wake up from New Year's is when we're shutting the forms down. So <laughs> yeah, the just, day after New Year. Yeah, I was we gonna make twenty four hours first, to recoup or the thirty first, but I was like, let's do it on the Sunday. That's when we always do it. So that's, you'll have until that weekend essentially. And so then the forms easier. will uh the forms will shut down. And then yeah. from there we will set up, I think we'll probably do the same format as last time. So check out the beta best trick. It was around 50 minutes long Mm -hmm. uh, and just do some live streams, probably definitely on separate days, depending on how many entries we have, but we'll do one for each trick and then we'll crown some champions and we'll have five medals to hand out. Yeah. Uh, it's that's so exciting. I love seeing this hardware make its way around the globe. We have some over in Europe, uh, East and West Europe, I believe, and a couple uh, spattered, through the United States as well. So this is super exciting. And up in Canada, I think Steep Steep got some hardware New not too long ago. And New Zealand. Dude, we need TFG medals on every continent. Who's playing this game in Antarctica? We need. <laughs> let's find them. We need to find them. Um, so judging, you know, you might be sitting here as your first TFG competition. What are the judges looking for? What should you be trying to create in this game that is going to bring home gold to your country, to your front door? We are looking for what is in our intro edit now. Steezy, breezy, beautiful tricks in cool locations. So part of it is the trick, you know, just what you're pulling off, how cool it is, how technical, if it looks great. And the other part is if it's in a really cool spot, use the beautiful environment that they gave us with this and all of the little like cars and rails and just all of that. You can watch a uh, real street best trick from the X games and just kind of watch what they do with that event. And that's what we're looking for. 
Yeah, you can also go back and watch some of our real events in Steep. I know it's a different video game, but you can kind of see what the competition's going to be doing. Uh, we have some very routine uh, riders that compete in a lot of our contests, and they kind of have their own certain feel, their certain vibe, their certain energy that they bring to the table. Um, and they can do that even without edits. So you know, try and find your attitude, try and find your style. Have fun with this. Again, this is the first competition, the real first real competition that we are doing in the Tardiflet games in Riders Republic. Um, so everyone's going to be a bit rusty. We're going to be a bit rusty on the live stream. You know, it's all good. We have to start somewhere and we're going to start well off with best trick. This is going to be fantastic. I, I can't wait. A little ambitious to start with five competitions, but we'll get it done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's like one competition, five, or just making yeah. more competitions out of a little less work in the beginning, but then a lot more work at the end. And then we have more events planned, so we'll have news for those probably once we start doing the streams for this one. So once can't we... wait to see you know all the, the crazy mad events that we have coming up. Absolutely. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop your questions in uh, our Discord over in the Riders Republic chat. Um, you can always ping us if you have a valid question. Um, you know, we don't need to be pinged all the time. But if you have a real question about submitting uh, someone over there, even if it's not us, we'll be more than happy to give you uh, an answer. So we cannot wait to see everyone. We want to see every single person watching this submitting to the Tardiflet Games Best Trick Contest. Everyone can submit. If you are playing this video game, you can submit. So get after it. There's no editing. There's no nothing you got to do. Go turn out a trick and submit it on YouTube. Easy as that. We, we can't wait to see all the submissions. Best of luck to all of the riders who are looking to compete next year. I still can't get it out of my head. So just to have this in every topic, we got to get Cliff to sponsor <laughs> this best trick series. <laughs> God, yeah, absolutely. Cliff, give us a call. This is your the Tartaflet Games best trick brought to you by Powered by. I'm yes. not going to say it because they haven't signed on yet, but I'm like, it has to be easy, right? I, it does. We've been talking about this with the <laughs> medals and like, we don't need much for a sponsor to mm -mm. cover those. And this is five gold, five gold medals. So this is like the big ask. But if they cover mm -hmm. this whole series, that's like $75 and we can ship all five medals to the winners. And it would be brought to you by them. Hey, Cliff, mm -hmm. you give us $75. We will do anything <laughs> you want. Hey, anything. Look at me. Look at me. Anything. 75 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk. That's talk to our know. people. Talk to our people. <laughs> we will put that money right back into Cliff Bars. <laughs> I will eat nothing but Cliff Bars for the next three months, and I'll film every meal. All right. We <laughs> Speaking we of good things to eat. <laughs> yes! This is the golden segue. Oh, my God. Mitchell, you are a god. <laughs> it's Guys, it's time to pick our favorite photos from this week's weekly challenge. Every week or every few weeks, we post a new picture theme for the riders, and you can submit your best photos. This week, it's the best picnic spot. Best spot to sit down and enjoy a real sweet, sweet cliff bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. oh, no, I sure can. We're not, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop this take because I'm afraid you're going to cut it. So I'm just going to try and okay. keep talking as much as possible. <laughs> Man, well, I mean, what better to Holy. let's see. I got to Am I picking first? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Pick first. All right. Well, best... you're going to pick the cliff ad because someone submitted a cliff bar ad. Did they? <laughs> yeah, pretty darn close. Uh, I don't even know which one that is. is I go is for it. Pick, pick what? yours. Pick yours. I'll see. Okay. Yeah, you can cover it if. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Not there. If not you there. if you pick it blind, I'm leaving the room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I don't see. know. It, put don't your know marketing I, hat on. If I, oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh man, man, this is t there's so many good. Okay, I'm just just for fun. I, I I don't think this is it either, but I gotta switch so I can get your reaction. I'm gonna pick the picture. Do you wanna? 
I think we've picked him before, but whatever. I'm going to go with Mr. Man one, two, three. That's not it. Wasn't right? it? It wasn't okay. it. Good. But it's a fantastic picture. I, I and I'm picking this one because this church, it's like the little church in Yosemite, is just such a peaceful spot. There's a guitar mm-hmm. player. It's just off of the hiking trail. You got the trees. You got the snow right around it. And he's doing this. Emo. <laughs> we need to Photoshop two cliff bars in his hands <laughs> in that photo. But that just looks like a great spot for a picnic. I mean, you got some shade, you got some indoor air conditioning if you need it. And then, of course, you got the beautiful trails of Yosemite. Hashtag eat cliff. Trademark, (laughs) trademark, trademark. Uh, Well done, Mr. Man. Uh, I'm going to go with the one that I think could be an ad for cliff. Uh, Thunder TRP. This incredible dark blue saturated with his rider. I'm going to call him a Yeti with that Yeti standing on top of the mountains on his property that is just attitude and then you have all the ripples from the sun you have like the lens flares they kind of look like rainbows this is an awesome or this is an awesome picture uh but yeah definitely going with the cliff theme here i mean it, look at it it's nothing but cliffs uh, i i love <laughs> i i thought i did think that was the photo you were trying to tie between the two uh he did comment he was having a picnic and he saw a frost giant <laughs> I, yeah. I don't even know how he got this is that like his rider like, yeah, I don't, I, I don't. That's I don't get. It. I don't see. I don't see the snowboard. I don't see. Like it has to be photoshopped. Maybe I would. I guess think it is. I don't. It is unless his rider was falling. That's the only explanation. Is if that's yeah. the falling animation, but I don't even know where he could be falling from. So thunder, thunder. Let us know how you took this picture. We are both stumped. Um, I love. We're gonna we're gonna sell it off to a to a corporate sponsor. I love pictures where we don't know how they were taken or like what's going on. We're like, is that Photoshop? Is that real? Like those yeah. mountains that guy gave. I think he did give yeah. us the coordinates. That was just away on Thanksgiving, but like where he took the picture with those mountains that we didn't believe were real. So just yeah, very cool. Uh, we can keep this up for one more. I think. I, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. I like two weeks for the photo challenges. You know, we get to pick and then we get to pick second people if they didn't get picked the first time or we get some more photos so it's a win-win so send us your best spot to have a picnic in the republic yes yes please uh moving on to self promo if you would like to be featured in this part of the episodes uh go ahead and click the link down below to join our discord head over to the self promo tab on our server and you can submit your videos just like high voltage silky bike riding over here yeah i'm sorry high voltages silky bike riding and this is one that i just picked out because i was i scroll through the reddit all the time especially when i'm supposed to be doing other stuff and this i commented this is the silkiest biking i might have seen so far in the game and it looks like he has a youtube channel too he's just nailing these transfers especially the one going into the empty pool and it looks like that's in yosemite too so he just has total control over this bike gorgeous yeah and that looks like it's the yt bike i forget the name of the um Mm. Yeah, the, the model of the bike, but it's definitely a YT. And this is the one that I've been using for slope style. I mean, he's playing with other bikes here, but yeah, well done. Well done. High voltage. Yeah. And we also got uh, a few more here. There was another really cool bike edit uh, from mm-hmm. six God 94. I think we did show him before we have, um, but this is like two minute, 15 seconds. He says the last month of his life in that. So it's another great one to check out. Found this again on the top thing of Reddit from the week. Uh, third, there's a video from Hipster Communist. Have you watched this? The bike No, fail. I have not. Why don't you go and click on that one, buddy? It's uh, Riders Be Like in the Republic. I'm hoping this is him just goofing off um, in the snow. <laughs> but I mean, how many times have you seen a biker just do that in the game, especially the ghosts riding through, just eating it on a little uh, embankment? Yeah, it's nonstop. It, it's comical at this point. Yeah. You know, and, and you didn't think that that happened in real life, but, uh, you know, there it is. Boom. <laughs> yep, that's, <laughs> that's what happens. Fantastic. Um, the other one I wanted to point out, there's a lot this time. I was yeah, real bored yeah, going through Reddit. piled them on today, was, dude. That's My computer's having a second trying to load that's all of these a videos. four-day weekend will do to you. You just got <laughs> content coming out. Um, I just wanted to point this one out. It's from Call Me J. This is These are the videos that I want to see in Riders Republic. We'll have to do some. This will kind of be like the real steeper, like some some version, but where it's a one line, but he switches between all these sports. So it starts off with the snowboard and then wingsuiting through the chairlift. And then he switches back to snowboard, grinds on the chairlift, and then he drops off of that and switches over to the bike and finishes out the little bit of that line. Just 
love these possibilities in the game where you can get so incredibly creative with the map because you can switch sports instantly and doing little video cuts to like cut out those transitions just makes these these clips flow perfectly yeah yeah and i feel like there's something else going on here there's some editing going on behind the scenes with the camera moving and shaking uh this looks very cinematic more cinematic than the game itself specifically the wingsuit section um, I was yeah, yeah I wasn't he jumps sure. off of the eagle and it like zooms in to the skier and then it's like underneath the wings. So I don't know how he filmed this, but it looks different than the other edit clips that we've been seeing. I really do cool. wonder because I haven't ever done it if he's mm -hmm. using the rider controls because then you get to use the right stick as a camera. Oh, to oh pan. that's right. But it's something that's that I it haven't is. noticed because I've been using Trickster. So I mean, right. hey, I might have to switch if that's what he's pulling off here. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, interesting. Let us know if uh, if you're watching this episode. Call me Jay. Let us know your secrets or yeah. don't. You know, maybe you're the only person who's ever able to make these videos and we just have to sit here and enjoy them from the sidelines. Uh, last but not least, let's round out the self promo segment this week with none other than Sofex. Love is pain. The one take ride edit that premiered on 24 November 2021. Well, we know SoFX from Steep and all of the incredible mm -hmm. videos that he put together. And this one is just, its it hits different than everything we've watched so far. And maybe so far in the game, it's just a nice, slow, one-take ride through the forest. He's got a very peaceful song, almost like to build a home from Steep, that kind of yeah. moment. The yeah. slow piano, the low vocals. He's just riding through and just, you know, taking off some jumps. And it's, I don't know, it's art. Yeah. You know, we talk all the time about how much we want a video editor and how much this game not only needs, but it deserves a video editor and this community deserves a video editor to to take it to that next level. Um, but it is so encouraging and uplifting to see the big editors, the big names like Sofax, like Flair coming out with very simple one take lines that are still cinematic. They tell a story. They they play with your emotions a little bit. Um, we're the, these guys are truly artists. These guys and girls that make these videos are truly artists and they have an artist's eye whenever they're in these games. So, I mean, just hats off to everyone who is making the best of this situation. I don't know. We, our content definitely needs a video editor. Mm -hmm. But after watching some of these videos, I don't know if Riders really does need a video editor to, to give it that advantage. People are clearly doing it already. Well, I mean, people just like us in Grand Theft Auto on PS3, we yeah. found ways to make edits in a way that you shouldn't. And that's how we got found. Essentially, we all those articles were written because we made something with the limited things that the game had, like didn't have camera editor. And we still did something like that. So, mm. you know, people who are going to succeed at stuff like this when there's no editor are just going to explode once those features come available. Yeah. Sounds like sounds like another game and another DLC that we might have had a hand in as well. <laughs> the Tardif Flight games. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> we're going to we're going to wrap the episode there. Uh, we told you it was going to be short and sweet and we just lied right to your face <laughs> every time, uh, yeah, every single time. But thank you very much for joining us again for week six, yep. six, week six of the Riders Report, uh, six of our guaranteed 100 episodes. Mitch, I cannot wait to see your face in real life IRL in like two days. I know. You're gonna be Friday night. I finally get to give you a hug. You said if anything goes wrong in today's episode, you can actually punch me in two days. Yep. So <laughs> I've been on my best behavior. I've been trying. But um, yeah, cannot wait to, to have that little reunion moment. It's been two long years. Um, and we will definitely be filming that. I know a couple folks that are gonna be filming that on camera. Uh, let's see if we can make some content this weekend. I think we have like 48 hours together uh, in a city we are not used to. Yeah, I think and we'll, we can make some content. We definitely have something planned for the members only video too, just yeah. um, because we'll be doing some fun stuff on Saturday at the game. And I think that's going to be part of the members only video. So I can't wait to share that little peek with everyone. It's going to be a blast. And uh, now yeah. you said you said members only. Well, you got members. We do have members. <laughs> He, I was going there <laughs> and then you decided to ask me if I was going there anyways, but that's why we were so uh, on the same page mentally. It's uh, scary. 
thank you to our members, especially our executive producer, Bone Crusher 2D and Coach 34, who I'll also get to see this week. A co-producer, it's the Mort and my mom, and then our fans and our fans plus. Uh, Shout out Mama Bell. Shout out Mitch's mom. She actually just gave her a little like two sentence review of the game because the community manager just wanted it. So it was basically (laughs) she doesn't play any video games because she gets dizzy, but she loves watching the community and loves getting to watch us do what we love. So couldn't think of any better words. So, you know, if we enjoy it, she enjoys it. Um, If you want to become a member like my mom, his dad, and several of our other members, you can click the join button down below to get the cool perks like early access to the show, uh, emojis, badges, members only video per month, which is usually pretty weird and sneak peeks and more. Yeah, and you can also just subscribe if you can't, you know, become a member and pay monthly fees. Uh, we get it. We understand. Uh, you can also just subscribe to be sure that you catch all of our great Rogers Republic content, including this show right here and our X game style competitions, the Tartiflette games. Uh, you can also check out all of our links to our Instagrams, our Twitters, our Discord servers, where the party always is bumping after the show and during the show, most days, most most weeks, honestly. Um, yeah, you got anything else to plug? I mean, I am like completely in, oh my God, I'm going to see Mitch mode. I, know. I cannot get over it. It's So we record this on Monday. It comes out on Wednesday. Um, and it, it's Monday and I'm seeing you on Friday and that's my whole week. Like I'm not focused on anything else Friday. I need to get down to North Carolina and I'm going to see your face. Yeah. So gonna, so I'm, yeah. Just, so, yeah, that's it. That's, that's how I can end it. Yeah. Oh, me too. Gorgeous. Yeah. Stay tuned to the discord. Stay tuned to Instagram. I'm pretty sure we're going to be sharing some stories over that weekend. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in to Nick and Mitch. Thank you for watching episode six of the writer's report. We'll see you back here. Same time, same place next week after we fly back to our respective cities and record the day after we land. So it might be a little rough, but we'll be able to recap. Uh, (laughs) Cannot wait. Uh, Safe travels, dude. I will see you in just two days. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. We, I almost did it again. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you on the slopes. (laughs) 